Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, take one. So what I'm doing today is I'm actually going to go pick up the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus for my son. They've got a really good trade-in deal over at T-Mobile right now. So I'm going to go do that and pick up this phone. And we're going to come home and unbox it. But I thought this would be a really good opportunity to do a vlog-style video, just like I've done with some of the other phones, and test out the camera capabilities and see what it's like with the S21 one Ultra. I think it's a really solid phone so far. I've really been enjoying the screen. The battery life is phenomenal, but how good are the cameras? And how good is the microphone pickup? So these are some of the things we're going to cover, plus a really cool unboxing of the S21 Plus. So let's get to it. Okie dokie, so now we're here over at T-Mobile store, so this is the primary camera with the S21 Ultra, so when I shot the front facing video a minute ago, that was that was 4K at 60 frames per second also, and you can see here it's nice, it's smooth, handles the light really well, there's a light breeze, so whenever it comes to the microphone and the sound experience, it should come through pretty well. They've got great spatial and directional microphones on these things, and I think it's gonna work out nicely. So let's go ahead and go on inside to go with the S21 Plus. So I got my name put on the list. Now I'm waiting around outside due to the coronavirus and all that stuff. There's a, a limit on how many people can be inside right now. I guess this is a T-Mobile thing. I haven't experienced this before because I haven't been to a T-Mobile store in a while, but waiting here and you can see here it's nice and it's sunshiny outside. Sun's going down this afternoon, but since we're moving further, getting closer to spring and further away from winter, the sun is now staying up longer, which I appreciate. So this is just some more video testing out here and of course testing out the vlog capabilities because the Note 20 Ultra was a really, really good vlog phone. I like it a lot. And I wanted to see what the difference is with this one. And so far, I think it handles pretty nicely. Okay, now this is a really cool feature. I didn't realize that it did this, but now it's set up with the S21 Ultra and I guess the uh, other S21 series devices. You can round from front to back while you're recording. So this is really cool. This is something that I've been excited for for a long time. I'm glad to put in here. I got the S21 Plus and we're going home. Okay, so I'm hungry. And you know, a, a vlog style video of mine would not be complete if I didn't stop where if I didn't stop somewhere and get something that didn't have chips and salsa with it. So time to grab some Chipotle and then I'll head home and eat <laughs> and then I'll do the unboxing.
Here we are with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus. So this is the big brother of the S21, but it's not quite on the same level as the Ultra, which I have right here. So you'll get to see both of these side by side here in a second. I went ahead and I took advantage of the T-Mobile trade-in deal, which was really, really nice. I got like 800 bucks. Um, it, it comes out to store credit, which is, I mean, not store credit, but it comes out to monthly bill credit, but it's fine because this phone is actually for my son. He's getting an upgrade from his S10, which we traded in. And he really liked this one. This is the, well, you'll see in just a second here, won't you? It's the purple and gold model, which looks pretty nice. It looks better, I think, than the one that I looked at at Best Buy. I was not overly impressed when I saw them because they had been touched by like 8 million different people's fingers. But here we go. And yeah, this purple color does look kind of nice. It reminds me a lot of like Easter, like the pastels or kind of like cotton candy maybe a little bit. It looks, I don't know, it's not my cup of tea, but this is the one that he wanted. I went ahead and I got the black one. And you can see here there's definitely a substantial difference between the two phones. Now the S21 and the S21 Plus both have the flat screen, which, man, I guess is fine. I prefer the curved edge display, which is nice that you have over on the Ultra. But this one, it looks really nice. It's got a nice form factor to it, and I think it's going to be cool. I think he's going to like it a lot. Got the cameras on the back here. This one does not have the 108 megapixel camera, which is totally fine. You can see here it's got the gold color all the way around the edges, so you've got that going on as well. USB-C port down here. One important thing, this right here <laughs> is where the SD, the, the SIM ejector tool goes. Not here, that is a microphone. So don't stick it down in there. And yeah, we'll get an up close look here real quick so you can take a look at this camera apparatus. So the frame actually overlaps over and you got the cameras there. So it doesn't just have that solitary block sitting over there, it's one molded piece, which is kind of an interesting take. Uh, I guess they did this to stand out. Got the selfie camera up there, which is a small punch out one on the front. It's got the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor in here, which I gotta say actually works like crazy good. So look at this, you can see it on mine. You don't even have to hold your finger there anymore. So you can just tap it, it works well. T-Mobile. And there's not a whole lot left to this unboxing process. So you've got a SIM injector tool. I'll go ahead and open this without breaking stuff and tearing it up. Whatever, I'm just gonna caveman this. Um, yeah, so you got some documentation here, quick reference guide, and a charging cable. That's pretty much it. And they gave me an extra SIM card. So they took out the power brick, they don't have the earbuds in here, and then also there is no screen protector on the phone. So they didn't even do that. And real quick here, I do want to show off these two side by side in case you're interested in getting one over the other because. The Ultra it is a bigger, it is a more capable and hefty phone than the Plus is. You can see here, it's got a thinner profile on it. Not quite as massive, and you can see also the camera bump is much more massive on the Ultra versus the Plus. So look at that, it's like twice the size. And yeah, it is lighter, it's got a nice feel to it. It reminds me a lot of the Fan Edition, which I don't think is necessarily bad. People really, really like that phone. And it's got this beautiful OLED panel on here as well, but limited to 1080p. It does not do the Quad HD Plus like the Ultra does, but it does have 120 hertz refresh rate, so that's also nice too. So that's pretty much it on my unboxing of the S21 Plus. Now this one is not so much of an in-depth, this one is for my son, uh, but I wanted to take the opportunity to do the unboxing video so people can see this, get some eyes on, and for people you know who are genuinely curious about the phone. Of course, there are some differences. If you want to get the Ultra, it's more expensive, costs more money. You do have the curved edge display, you got the Quad HD Plus resolution, you've got the more built out cameras, you got the bigger battery. But this one right here, I think for most people, is probably going to be a really good option. And I think it's fairly affordable when it comes to flagship phones. Snapdragon 888 in here. I mean, it's got so much power. This is the brand new best Android processor that you can get right now, at least in the United States and with Qualcomm. And you're not missing out on anything. You've got the telephoto, you've got the wide angle, you've got the primary shooter, you've got the ability to shoot 8K video at 24 frames per second. So you're not missing out on anything with this. It's got all the power that you could possibly ask for. And this flat screen actually, I think will be nice for a lot of people. A lot of people complain about the ghost touches. They don't like that curved edge. This here with the smaller form factor, with the rounded edges on it, I, I think 
can work ergonomically. It doesn't have to have the curved edge display. But pretty cool. And I just wanted to take a look at this and also the opportunity to go out and do some of the vlog style shooting with my S21 Ultra and bring all that back and put it together so you can get a good feel for this. Now that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.